Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're covering Mr. Mycelium by Claire McKenna uh, from the anthology Ecopunk, which is edited by Liz um, and Kat Sparks. Um, Liz, I'm struggling with the last name a little bit, G-R-Z-Y-B. Um, but it's a really great short story. I wish it was available online for free. Um, but again, I highly recommend you check it out. This is perhaps one of my uh, favorite stories I've seen so far kind of within this subgenre of speculative fiction. Um, one note though at the top is there is some gory violent images um, and stuff in the story and some hints at kind of some darker themes. Um, but again, it's still a very good story. So as always, let's uh, open up with our passage from the story. To waste a thing was a sin. Entire neurolinguistic pathways were set to not entertain the thought of waste. Jack was caught up even more than he was with the dollars. Sure, he said, and passed over the ragged remains of a hundred dollar brick with its repeating Benjamin Franklins, the socialist scientist president who gave his discoveries away for free. I wonder how Mr. Franklin would have felt being exchanged en masse for some proprietary biotech. Jack collected the rhizomes and palped their spongy structures through the bag, as if he could feel the valuable fungus growing there already. Jack was happy now. This is good, he said to me. Much better than a vertical garden. Mom will be pleased. Uh, so Mr. Mycelium by Claire McKenna is a post-climate disaster, tech-rich version of Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, it's not too subtle. The, the story makes it pretty obvious. Uh, the story is narrated by Minty, a robotic agricultural assistant who we don't really um, get full the full reveal that she's robotic until late on in the story. Um, Minty is sent with Jack to ensure that he gets a fair deal for the camp family cow at the Emerging Technologies Roadshow. Jack's family was a once wealthy group of farmers who lost most of their lives, their genetically modified cows, and the farm in a raid by an anti-environmentalist group. All that remains is Jack, Jack's mother, and one aging, um, genetically engineered family cow. At the roadshow, Jack is scammed into selling his cow to a shifty livestock trader for US dollars, a now out-of-date currency. Um, it, they mentioned something about the exchange rate um, as well, but it's effectively worthless. Uh, during this, Minty protests, knowing that Viv and Bob, who are effectively her family, will, and I think she refers to Bob as dad even at a couple points in the story, uh, will put the blame on Minty for not stopping Jack. Viv and Bob took in Jack and his mother after the raid as the anti-environmentalist group spread poison throughout the farm, rendering it unusable. Left with only the rotting US dollars, Jack ends up making a deal with Mr. Mycelium, a man trading in genetically modified mushrooms and wearing like mushroom uh, clothing and all sorts of stuff. It's a fun character. Uh, Mr. Mycelium takes the cash to use a growth, uses a growth medium for spores and gives Jack what he believes to be rhizomes that grow construction fungus able to build a house over the course of a week. Jack and Minty then return to the farm with these, quote, magic beans, unquote. Uh, Jack's mother is furious and throws the rhizomes onto the old poisoned farm plot in front of Jack. But after a rainy night, the mushrooms, in combination with the lichen, spread to contain the initial poison, um, combine to grow a tall fungal forest over the farm plot. Jack walks into it, seemingly killing himself, um, but however, it turns out that the rhizomes from Mr. Mycelium were in fact the Hemyong protest zone transgenic product um, that's designed specifically to clean up poison, so it ended up being a, a good twist of fate. Uh, Minty walks into the now um, deforming and disintegrating forest to find Jack sulking over the past. Minty berates him and remarks that, quote, there's more to civilization than just agriculture. Survival is all about persistence, after all. Viv returns Jack back to his mother, dancing over the fact that she feels that she and her family will be rewarded now that Jack and his mother are able to use the land again. Um, so my notes for the story. Uh, this story is about waste and use. Throughout the story, various things are described in exchange value. Jack's mother sleeping with Bob is one such exchange. Minty bringing Jack back is another exchange. Minty's existence as an android is constantly teetering on exchange. Um, it's even hinted that uh, Jack was thinking about like selling her at the uh, market. Predictably, no one wants to lose any perceived value in their exchanges. No one wants to waste stuff. However, the titular Mr. Mycelium relies on waste to survive, not only through using waste material to grow fungi, but also by siphoning power um, being arguably wasted by companies to do frivolous things such as light up displays. 
Additionally, it's in restoring the value of what is wasted, that being the farm, that's key to the ending in the story. Finally, Minty's value is constantly wasted throughout the story by those around her, particularly Jack. Jack views her as less than, and in doing so, fails at his initial task of selling the cow. In the final moments of the story, Jack remarks that he's surprised that Minty is able to give him a motivational speech, something he's only surprised at because he does not see her value. And so, one of the big questions of the story is about waste and value. What does it mean to value something or someone? And what does it mean to waste something or the abilities of someone? And as always, cite the text and any other sources to support your answer. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.